There you go. Sorry. Alright. Does it look is it getting all of us still? Yes. Are you gonna move? Scared of us. You supposed to do with Skittles. <laughs> I ain't never met a person that ate Skittles like with their mouth closed. What? What? Are <laughs> uh, you not supposed to eat Skittles with your mouth closed? What? But you're not. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, hold on. How are you supposed to eat Wait, Skittles? Hold on, hold on. How do you eat Skittles? Let's, let's try to eat Skittles with our mouth closed. I'm doing it. It don't taste the same. You it really don't. It don't taste I feel like I'm not smacking when you don't. I feel like everybody got to smack every chew. You don't eat skills like this. You got to. No, exactly. Right you are exaggerating. How do you eat skills then? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Gee, it's Nigga, I know how you used to. Nah, but like, you gotta smack my stuff. Your mouth will dry if you spill it off. Hey, y'all look. It's like you got your mouth making it. You gotta smack them. Oh, let me get some. Oh, we actually. Fuck it. Hey, we got some hydrates. But it's not even on the stuff. I can't even. I open my mouth like a like, it's like a. The only time I can eat it is when it's just a. Yeah, but not the whole time, right? Like, I can eat that shit just yeah, a snack. Like, like maybe just be snacking, like, snacking. Bro, not, oh god, and I can't eat like, chocolate. Bro, I, bro, chocolate is so yeah, overrated, okay. bro. Yeah. I, I can eat some Skittles and nerds while I eat some fucking chocolate, bro. I don't know. Chocolate nasty. Chocolate is fucking disgusting. It doesn't have a chocolate. Especially dark chocolate. Which one of y'all like dark chocolate? Yeah, yeah. Bro, y'all niggas yeah, are disgusting. Dark chocolate is the worst. Dude, no, baby, like dark chocolate. Literally. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> that Hell no. Chocolate ice cream and chocolate cake chocolate is fucking cream? disgusting. Oh, no, you don't I'm racist with my ice cream. I don't know. <laughs> I'm segregated with my ice cream. I swear to God, if it ain't white, I don't want that shit. I swear to God. I ain't eating no white ice cream. I'm gonna get like, it's crazy. No, well. I'm racist with my shit. I don't know what I tell you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Welcome back to Really Him Podcast. I got two special guests in the building. Introduce yourselves, ladies. I'm Abby. I'm Leah. And we did the last episode we had was really first dates, but we got a little, a little, uh, what's the word? Feedback from the ladies, and they didn't agree with everything that was said. So we want to do a girl edition, a part two. As y'all saw, it was part one last time with Destin. Oh, Amazing really guest, right? you know. Really he got the. <laughs> he, got, he got the most uh what's the word that i'm looking for when you like get like push back but it's like another word though setback no <laughs> no yeah i know what i'm talking about not push back but it's like not feedback i just use feedback like controversy okay whatever um <laughs> okay yeah that's, that's it for the uh, asking yeah no. <laughs> No, but we got some questions for the ladies. We want to see y'all's perspective, y'all insights on things, because we got the guys, you know? So y'all are representing a lot of ladies, though. Are y'all ready? Are yeah, we got this. Ass? Okay, but before before we start the video, you know how we like to get things started with mental health. Check your mentors, people. Ask your family members how they're doing. Ask your, your, your friends. Call them. Just be like, hey, man, you good? You need something? You know? Yeah. That's what you got to do. Because I think, I think this month, if I'm not mistaken, it's mental health month. So... It yeah, it's mental health month. I think my mom told me that. I didn't know that. So I'm gonna start with Leah. Leah, Sorry, me. how how are you doing? Scale one to ten emotionally. Emotionally. Scale one to ten. I say about like a seven. Seven. Yeah. Physically. Physically. A nine. Nine, and then financially. That's that's the one that be we be getting low numbers on that one. I like an eight. Eight, Abby. Oh, well, I'm sorry. So overall, what would you say your whole mental state is? Your mental being. My mental state. Yeah, your whole overall. So th those are basically your fight financially, emotionally, like, physical, all in one. Ooh, I feel like a seven. A seven? Yeah, like a seven. We gotta get that little bit up. Mm -hmm. It don't work. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> Abby, emotionally, how are you? Scale one to ten. A seven. Seven. Yeah. Physically. A nine. A nine. Mm -hmm. And financially. Like an eight. Damn, did y'all have the same numbers? No. I said like an 8, 8.5-ish. Okay, so overall... Well, I, I, well, in the same area, yeah. Okay, wait, and which one is your financial? Yeah. Okay. So overall, how is your whole mental being? Like a 9. I feel like this is like the happiest I've been. In oh my life. God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. 
That's beautiful. We ain't gonna ask why, but yeah. Hey, 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 hey. We, hey, we right here. We right here. We right here. Yeah. Okay, let's jump right into things, man. So last time we start the first question off with who is supposed to pay for the first date? Last time we got, I said personally, I said I think it should be whoever asks, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Kenny, the reason Kenny, Ken isn't here, you know, he got to take care of some business, you know, mm-hmm. he got to work, make that bread first, but he's okay. He'll be on the next episode, but this is just a one-time thing. Hope you're doing well, Kenny. Okay, back to it. Uh, Kenny and Destin said that they feel like it's an obligation for the man to pay first. That they should, that that's what they should do, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what are y'all thoughts on that? You, you can go first, start it off. I think the guy should pay. Okay, why? Why do you think that the guy should pay? I just feel like nine times out of ten, they're the ones that ask to take you on a date, yeah. right? Yeah. So I feel like if you're going to ask me, you should pay. Okay. That makes sense. I think like, Obviously, everybody knows the guy is supposed to pay for the girl, you know. Mm-hmm. But like, you know how older people, you know, the our mamas and daddies, yeah, they be like, yeah, yeah. A guy the older generation, to, yeah, a guy is supposed to pay for you. But I think it really mm-hmm. depends on the dude, though. Mm-hmm. What do you mean like, depends on the dude? Some dudes, you know, they might not have it, mm-hmm. and the girl might be like, you know, I got it for you, then. But I see what you're saying, though. It depends who asks, because if the girl asks, then the dude might be like. You ask me, what if I don't have the money to pay for you? Wait, so you saying, oh, wait, so you saying that if the guy asks a girl to go on a date, yeah, the the very first date, would you set the precedent on your whole relate? This is your first date. If he asks me, then obviously he paying. But like, if I ask him, be like, hey, you want to get some ice cream or something? Yeah. Then I might pay for him because it's my treat. Yeah, but I'm saying you said that the guy might not have it. So if the guy asks yeah. you, so the, so say the guy do ask. Now, obviously, you, right? if he asks me, then he got it. He got to. But if yes. I, yeah, but if I ask him, then it's like I'm gonna pay for you. Okay, but what about if he asks him, he don't got it? Now I'm like, why would you ask? Me? <laughs> <laughs> should <laughs> ask you the first. So place. yeah, is there? A but second? I'm gonna still. I'm not gonna embarrass him on the first date though. I might not go on another date with him, <laughs> but on the first date, I'm like, it's cool. Next date, ain't hey, boy. So there's no there's no second date after that. No. Mm-hmm. So if a guy don't pay for y'all, so if a guy don't pay for y'all first date, it's like nah, I'm I'm not even gonna waste my time. Yeah, nine times out of ten. Cause I think I think when a guy, so if a guy, so if a guy asks a girl right, yeah. and they don't pay, I think that shows the guy's true colors. Yes, it really do. Right. Yes. And so go ahead. Because if you can't pay for our first date, nine times out of ten, you're not gonna pay for nothing else. Mm. So yeah, that makes that's making a lot of sense. So that means Christmas gonna be cheap, birthday's gonna yes. be cheap. Oh my god, y'all couldn't. Y'all, y'all, y'all good with that? Uh, what are some good dates? Cause we we had that argument. I said Brahms. I said Brahms was a good date. They was like Brahms. You taking females on a Brahms? What are some good dates that guys can take females on and females love? I mean, I feel like it depends on the female. Like with me too much like i don't really gotta do too much like we ain't gotta go to no fancy restaurant dress mm-hmm. up like you can pick me up and we just pick up some food and yeah. sit in the car and vibe a little bit like let me get to know you and yeah. stuff first and after that then maybe we can go out abby i feel like like the same thing like going on simple dates like you don't always gotta do the most mm-hmm. and i feel like sometimes guys think you gotta do the most to impress somebody i think you do not mm-hmm. not all the time. Like sometimes the simple dates are the ones that like are the best dates. Like just really going vibing, like. to Brahms and getting ice cream and sitting there and talking. Like mm-hmm. that's like a good date to me. So see, that's where I kind of that's where I kind of disagree. I think I think the first date, first dates. If you mm-hmm. and we also have, if it depends on what your intentions are with the girl from the guy's perspective, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if if I'm a guy and I look at this girl and she's wifey material, mm-hmm. right? Then I'm a, I, I don't want to waste that first date on just an ice cream date or something. I can I can do that a regular date, right? I want to yeah. do something special. But if I look at a girl and I'm like, uh, she not here for the long run. She 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 temporary. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? She yeah. ain't perfect. She temporary. She here for a feeling. Then you, yeah, okay, ice cream they can do and stuff. But 
don't know. That's 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 for me. I think that. Yeah, I really think it just depends on the person because some dudes won't even take a female on a date. What you yeah. mean? Wait, huh? Like you know, some dudes be like, "I'm not taking you on a date." Like it just depends on the dude. Sometimes we gotta be the one to plan everything. Yeah, and you it. think like, females what? really do plan everything? Ninety nine percent of the the dates. Thursday? Yes. Yes. Oh, it no. just depends on the dude. Oh no! Whoa, whoa. Maybe we just have bad experience. Yeah, with maybe. Dudes, but like, <laughs> wait. So y'all saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause this this bathroom. What type of niggas? Do, whoa, whoa, I'm excuse my first. What type of niggas? Wait. So you telling me? You telling me a guy hit y'all up in a DM, hit hit y'all up, snap, whatever, da da da, right? Hey, yeah. you want to go on this date? I take you to da da. So they don't even say. I, they just say you want to go on a date, and then y'all gotta plan the date. I mean, well, they might honest, be. Sometimes they don't even say, "Do you want to go on a date?" What they say? They might be like, "Yeah, you gonna get some food or something." Yeah. You know, it just oh depends on a God. dude. It just depends on a dude. Oh like, my. Some dudes be, oh don't know God. how to. <laughs> some dudes don't know how to be romantic. Yeah, like, What's you know. Like, <laughs> That's what we're what trying to figure out. Though? You know how our generation is. is. No, the hell, like, I don't. <laughs> oh my God. Exactly. I want to get some. That ain't no bad thing. That ain't no date. And that's I, a I'm that's a link up. up. That's a hangout. That ain't no date. If, if somebody say a date is when you when you turn, do you want to go on a date? Mm. That's a link up. You want some food? You want? <laughs> you, you trying to get a water burger? Shit. You trying that's, to, I don't know. that's a link up. That's a hangout. That ain't no date. A date is when you when a guy is romantically invested and say, mm. do you want to go on a date? And he's scared. To, See, that's a guy. That's name. a gentleman. Like, but ain't too many like they was raised like that. There's different dudes that don't even know how to talk to a female the right way. Yeah. Like, they got the good intentions, but they don't know how to present it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Ask the female on the date. So they, do you think, but do you think that's more of like, just like awkwardness in the... And they don't. They think it's corny to to just go and say. Oh, I mean, you in our generation, yes. yes. Like dudes think that's kind of like. I feel like they think like, it's they childish. Cool for that. Yeah, yeah, like that's how I feel. Like. Damn. Okay. This, this let's, let's let's spice the questions up a little bit. Right. Let's 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 uh, turn the notch up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If paid in the in the right price range, is there something supposed to be offered back? Now, I know I had to explain it last time. I'm gonna explain it this time. So what that question means, right? Let me give you an example. If, if a guy asks a girl on a date, the girl says yes, and the guy goes out to this expensive restaurant, goes out to Dallas, goes and uh, goes to the movies after, that date can turn out to be almost one hundred fifty dollars if you include gas, right? Mm -hmm. Do, does that guy feel? Is that guy right to feel like he's owed something back in a sexual way? Is what that question means. What do you, what are y'all thoughts on that? I mean, most guys think like that. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like if I didn't ask for it, uh -huh. then I feel like I shouldn't have to. I don't owe you anything sexual. Yeah. Like you, you took it upon you to spend a hundred and fifty dollars on me. Yeah, that's that's, like, that's their problem. Yeah, that's on you. Like mm -hmm. I'm not finna. That's basically paying for sexual, something back like, in yeah. return. Yeah. yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. It but should. our generation has normalized that. Oh shit! So oh, no, 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 we can't, we can't just <laughs> yeah. stop that. We can't just, we can't just stop it. Just our generation. Go deeper in that. What, what do you mean our generation has normalized? Because nine times out of ten, you mm -hmm. go on a date with somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah. Our generation has normalized somebody getting something in return, and it shouldn't be like that. It mm -hmm. should be like we just go on a date. You draw me back off where you pick me up from, and. That's what that's I'm saying. That. Like, what's wrong with having a good time? Like, say y'all go go kart, y'all went to eat, y'all did all these activities. Yeah. Like, now it's ruined because you tried to. That's yes. what I'm saying. Like, we were vibing, then you talking about sexual stuff already. Mm -hmm. and it's like that's just a whole turn off. So that's a so what we talked about last podcast. We said a don't in the first date is talking about sexual activities on the yeah. first date. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, cause basically that's like the dude saying, "Okay, I bought your food and everything already. Now, what you gonna give me? Mm -hmm. Like now it's time to get busy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, if that's yeah, time to get busy. Yeah, <laughs> time to get busy. We're talking. Like, yeah. Mean? If that's the case, I would have just paid for my own stuff. Uh -huh. Like, why even that's go on a date I'm if you saying. want something in return? Yeah, but what? Okay, how do let me? How do y'all feel about 
guys saying they can't, like they can't, they can't cuff a female if they do end up giving it up on their first date. What are y'all thoughts on that? I mean, it depends on the on what happens during the first date. Like, I do can't be like, I don't want a girl that do it on the first date if you're leading her on. Like, say y'all on the date and he like, you know, rub on her leg or something yeah. like. You asking for it on the first day, like you trying to turn her on, so I mean, so obviously like, no, something's gonna yeah. happen if yeah. you're like so if she not, knows that's not your intention. It's like you're not intended on doing that. They uh, should be cool though. Yeah, but like a dude can't come on to a female and be like and just test her, see if she's easy or whatever. Yeah, see, because well, I talked to a couple friends about it, and they said it was a double standard. You know, they said it was a double standard between the females. And the guys where females can give it up the first night yeah. and guys don't guys seem that as deem that as whorish hoish but girls don't girls can't have that opinion on guys and also another double standard was if y'all saw saw the video i did i was like the the body counts right mm -hmm. and that that's when I, I got pushed pushed back that's the word found it Pushed back. I got pushed back on that because they said that the they oh y'all said that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you said that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I said that. Yeah. You said yeah. that. Oh. I was like, "Let's never hear you, son." Oh, good job, William. Man. Um, it was uh damn, I lost my damn train of thought. The body counts. Snap, the body thank you. Count. Snap back into it. Yeah, the body counts and how guys can look at a girl is oh well she got over fifteen bodies oh she nasty. But then guys can have damn near over 50 and they deem cool. What do y'all feel about that double standard? That is double standard. That is double standard. But if you think about it, guys don't be caring at all. They don't. Caring about what? Like their body count. Like as long as their female body count not high, they don't care. Like that's how our generation is. Mm -hmm. But I still think like it just depends on how your relationship is. Yeah. Like she can probably be loyal for you. Like, you can't just base a female off of that. Yeah. In the past, you know, maybe she's an emotional female and boys just mess her over mm -hmm. and, like, get the best of her. And she just what do you, let it happen. Yeah, what do you think, Abby? I feel like it is a double standard. Mm -hmm. Because, like, like you said, a boy can have, like, 50. and But if a girl had, like, more than five, she's a hoe. Yeah. Automatically. And that's not right. But how's that on the guys, though? Y'all can be. That ain't us? Because, okay, let, let's be real. Let's be real. If a girl has, if anybody has over 20, you, you, got a, you, got a, you got an eyebrow raise, right? Yeah. So, why does, okay, so the guys can look at the girls like that, but it's our fault because the girls don't look at the guys like that. What do you mean? Like I, we do look at y'all like that. If you out here doing it like that, then you you a hoe. But y'all, like, <laughs> like, yeah. Doing? But but this is what I'm saying though. But y'all actions, see, because we say it, because we say, okay, if a girl got over twenty bodies, I'm not cuffing her. But a girl will come for dudes it's, that got over twenty bodies. How's that our fault? It's celebrities and stuff out here that, like, they know. Everybody, the whole world known her for a home, but she's happily married with kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, sooner or later, this female gonna get cuffed. Like, you can't just be like, oh, she got that many bodies, I can't cuff her. Mm -hmm. But still, like, the trust might not be there, but, like, I feel like that takes maturing, though. Like, you, little kids, like, base everything off body counts. Yeah. And as you grow up, it's not all about body counts. She is. Like, <laughs> Shit. I mean, it's really not like you just never know. It just depends on the female. Yeah, it really does. So, could y'all could y'all cuff a dude? Could y'all cuff a dude? Let, I'm gonna give y'all a for one. I'm gonna I'm, I, wait for one. If I'm in a relationship, I'm not gonna ask the bodies. Oh, like, you not? No, I you don't, don't ask how many. So y'all don't even want to know. I don't want. I don't want to. That's the thing. We don't want it because we already know how it is. Know. So it's like, if I like you for you. And I'm feeling you, then sooner or later you tell me your body count, that's not gonna make my feelings change for you. What but count? as long as you doing right by me, then it's like, mm -hmm. it don't really matter. So say you are going to do, right? Y'all yeah. kick it. I'm talking about you kick, you, you having the best time of your life, right? And you find out, you find out he been swimming. <laughs> he been swimming 
And I ain't talking about just swimming in the kiddie pool. I'm talking about he been swimming in that 12 feet pool. Right? He got over. He got over 75 bodies, Leo. But y'all three months in. Y'all three months in, Leo. He got over 75 bodies. Bro. Can you do that? I mean. I mean. What? Can you just say that's childish? Nah, if he, like, if I know he loyal, like, he not messing around. I mean, it's gonna, look, 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 look. It's gonna be it. hard. It's gonna be hard to trust him, though. But, like. But you been trusting him. I know. He ain't stepped up. I know. So, but, but because, because you, okay, okay, continue, continue. But you never know. What if he got these 70 bodies and me and him kicking it and he actually been loyal, like. He ain't been doing nothing. He checked for one. Go to the doctor and get checked. Get checked. See, I said, when I said that I got in trouble. What the hell? Checked, like he cleared everything, but he got seventy some bodies. I know he's loyal. He not hoeing me, and that would be different. But that ain't gonna linger around. But if I've been, it is. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind. But if he been given like trust issues, like I don't trust him, and I find out he got seventy some bodies, that's a problem. Cause like it, it's gonna be believable now. What about that? What about? See, let's get back to the first date. What about you find out he got seventy first date? Can you take him serious? No, nah, I'm not gonna be able to trust him. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to trust him if I find out that soon. But if we kicking it and everything is like. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the question? So, would you tell me? If a dude got 70 bodies and you find out he got 70 bodies on the first date, you you ain't gonna take him serious. No. So what's wrong with that if a guy finds out a girl got 70 bodies on the first date and we say it, what's wrong with that? I never said it was a problem. I mean, it's not a double standard. Like if I don't trust him if he got 70 bodies, I don't expect him to trust me if I had 70 somebody. Okay, let's go realistic scale. Let's go realistic. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm go numbers. I'm gonna go numbers, and y'all tell me when you gonna deem that unacceptable. Okay. Okay. Three. Three. He got three bodies. That's it. Okay. First okay, date. You, you find this all out. This first date material, right? Yeah. He got three bodies. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. He got ten. That's fine. That's. Eh, it, it's pushing. It's pushing. It's pushing. It's pushing. It. It's pushing it. It's pushing it. He got 13. Getting hot. Right. Getting hot. Getting hot. Getting hot. Fuck, he got 20. I'm like, all right. Yeah. It's Some boundaries going to have to be set. Like, what about if he's going to be loyal? And he, How he, we know? That's why, I, that's why I said boundaries. Like, I don't know if you're going to be loyal yet, but once you, once I think you cheated and it's like, you got 20 some bodies. You a whole like, come on now. <laughs> like, like, come on now. See, I said, like, see, I'm not going to believe nothing you tell me. This is the scale I gave last time, right? This mm-hmm. is the scale I gave. I said, one to, and you got to remember this also. We're not 30, 40, where like those numbers can start rising because you, you've been, we're still at like 18, 19, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So this is before you even hit 20. All this is, so keep that in mind. I said one to three is acceptable. So you got three bodies, cool. Right? Are you saying for a female? Or for a female, female? I'm from okay. a guy's perspective. Okay, okay. Yeah. Three is like that's low. Like, damn, I got a good one. Only so three to be eighteen. Yeah. That, yeah. Good. Yes. I said three to eight is like, all right. All right. You, <laughs> like, chill out. That, that line, I'm starting to see that line, right? <laughs> I'm starting to see that line. I said nine to fifteen. Use a hoe. That's what I said, and they got mad at me. And they, they made me change it up, and I had to say they experienced, right? And then I said, if you 16 up, if you got 16 and up, you're a professional. Do y'all agree? Yeah. Because like you said, we're barely 18, 19. I drank a water. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah please. <laughs> okay, so what's some... So I'm glad we got that clarified. Because it, it, mm-hmm. people keep on saying, like, it's a double standard. When if you go deeper, it's really not. I mean, it's more of a mentality than a double standard. I mean, with females, it's like with dudes. I feel like with females, we're more lenient with dudes. Yes, because like females, we really have to respect our body a lot more than y'all do. Well, what you mean more lenient? Like, like 
like y'all can have more bodies than us and it's like okay that's cool or whatever but we have a lot of bodies and we we, need, we know we need to chill out but if dudes have more bodies and it's like i don't know like y'all y'all chill level is higher than ours yes okay but who's who's at fault for that I mean, y'all can y'all really take advantage of females? Do you think? Like, if you, what you mean? If you want to be honest, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we're fine, we're fine. Because y'all, y'all smooth, like y'all be smooth talking. <laughs> yeah, we smooth. And, we like smooth. you know, females be emotional. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I would say we don't care. I mean, we just have. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no in between, y'all. Just don't care. <laughs> That's all in between. It's either you don't care yeah, or you do it. You just got more emotional feelings than y'all. It's like I feel like any dude we have sexual intercourse with, like we want something more with them. Like I, I just don't want to give you my body and be like. That's no it. reason. Like, like, why we can't be together? Like, what was your point in trying to do so with me? But what about who you tell y'all from the jump? But okay, if I, you okay, I see the jump. That's on us to let you to let you do. That. And I see what y'all saying. There are some weenies out there yeah. that that play like, oh, I want a relationship just to get yes. some kitty cat. That yes. they, 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 there is some weenies, some weenie hood juniors out there. But yes. they're also let's keep it real. We are gonna keep it a hundred. We can't just keep it fifty. We gotta keep it a hundred. Yeah. We gotta play both sides. Let's keep it above. It also some dudes out there that keep it real and black. I don't want no relationship. Um, this is what I'm solely in for, then. Right. I'm only. This is why I'm here. <laughs> Like yeah. Marshawn Lynch said, you know why I'm here, right? Yeah. I'm I'm right here for this and that. That's it. And that happened with him being full front. He done put on a front newspaper and y'all still catch feelings and get mad at the guy because I mean, he ain't reciprocate those feelings that y'all got. I mean, that's really on the female. Cause like, if he lets you know straight up, hey, I'm just trying to, yeah, then that's on her to allow him to do that. Like she can't expect no feelings or anything from you mm -hmm. if you if you told her from the jump. But then if y'all like talking like falling asleep on Facetime, nah, hell no, hell no, <laughs> hell no, hell hell no, hell no, no, no you ain't gonna get me with that. You, oh I'm a professional at this. At this, <laughs> bro, I, I'm I'm five six episodes in deep. No, if he's safe. And he said he don't want a relationship. No, no, and y'all doing relationship saying, stuff. Look, that don't mean. I'm saying, what if he don't say that, though? Like, if he say he don't want a relationship, then that's straight up. He say he don't want a relationship. But, like, if y'all doing relationship stuff, then y'all doing it, then it's like, how can you expect me not to have feelings for you? And get Like, if you don't you. tell me straight up you don't want a relationship, and you doing all this extra stuff with me, then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, I don't wish shit with you. What's your thoughts? And what's the point in doing that? Exactly what she said. Like, if, okay, say we're falling asleep on the phone, right? Mm -hmm. We're hanging out every yeah. weekend, like yeah. going on dates. Doing relationships, yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. And then that happens. And it's Obviously, like, a female's going to be attached because you didn't let her know from the jump. Like, what, but do, what, you, about like, that what do you expect? But what about if they let you know from the jump and it's still like, what about if they let you know from a jump? I'm not looking for a relationship. That's not what I want to do. I'm gonna live my life. Da da da. Y'all yeah. still, but y'all do do relationship stuff, even though that's out there. And y'all still like y'all still fall asleep on the phone. Y'all go on dates. Y'all should have set boundaries. So if that's the case, but you know some people still do that. So like I still think it's mixed signals. Yes, it's mixed signals. Yeah, it's mixed. Like saying he doesn't want it, but then still doing relationship things mm -hmm. with like yes. we're just more emotional. We're gonna get attached, even though you don't. Want Either us way, to. regardless of what they say, we're gonna get attached. So what y'all are saying is, so overall broad view, right? Y'all are saying this is the state. This is yeah. what I can print out in bold. This is the title. Okay. Yeah. Guys, take advantage. <laughs> and not a, and not a, let's let's not say advantage because yeah, let's not guys. Yeah. Guys manipulate. There we go. Guys can manipulate slash use girls. It, can y'all sign off on that statement? Because that's what it sounded like. That's really not what it sounded like. What does it sound like? Then? Mm -mm. Make like, y'all give me the statement that y'all mean. Make it both. Like it's. <laughs> 
Take it both. It's hard to put it, but like you making it one sided, like you just saying that guys use girls. I mean, they do, but like you can't put it one sided. Can girls? Like you said a different way. Maybe. Can girls use guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think so. They really, they really can. Cause if you think about like it, if a guy got money, then she. No, no, no. I'm about to, I'm about to f y'all whole <laughs> statement up. Okay. Cause mm -hmm. you know how, cause y'all just told me that it's the guy's fault because you sent one thing and what leading, what you say leading, make signals. Make signals. Make signals. But if see this is if a guy said I don't relationship and y'all still doing relationship stuff, ain't that the girl taking advantage of the guy? Cause he's put it out there. That's like if a girl says I don't want a relationship and a guy's trying to force a relationship. Double standards <laughs> go both ways. Double. You hear me? I mean, I don't I don't necessarily think that. This is what I think. This this I'm gonna I'm just put it out. I'm gonna make my own statement. Okay. I think girls and guys, I think there's a double standard for both, mm -hmm. but girls and guys use each other. That sound way yeah. better. That is much better. better. Cause y'all both have to be in on it, Let's do the relationship stuff. She already like nobody's forcing him to go on a date. So, but <laughs> y'all let me finish. I was holding the butt in, but it's only it's only like it's all just like how y'all said the generations is out there as oh it's really girls can use guys guys can really only use girls when it's not. I, my opinion, in my opinion, if we talking just straight like, like relationship wise, you I think guys can. I think girls use guys more than guys use girls. Whoa. That's my story. Whoa. That's what I. Whoa. Let's just put out there. Let me put all my chips out there in the middle. I'm putting all my chips out there in the middle. I think girls use guys more, and we might have to change. The, we might have to change the topic of this video. We might. Because this girl is going to do. We might have to change the topic. But I think girls now, use guys different. Um, well, would you, would you allow? Explain that. Would you Why want you me to elaborate? Yes, yeah, like, please explain that. I'll tell you how. Because all I keep on hearing. Like, how do we use guys? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. All I keep on hearing is, oh, well, the girl is emotionally attached. The girl, you knew the girl was going to catch feelings. You knew the girl, you knew the girl, meant, you knew the girl, you knew, you knew, you knew. That's all I'm here, right? Right? I mean. But, if, but when you think about it from a guy's perspective, and I'm, I'm not talking about no weenies out there that actually be, I'm not talking about weenies that be like saying, oh, I do want a relationship, da, 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 they hit, and then they go. So I ain't talking, those weenies are juniors. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no, 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 no. That's what I'm in my but I'm saying, but I'm saying the guys that keep it real, the the unspoken heroes, mm. they keep it real from the jump. There's not that many. It, shit, really not. shit. <laughs> See, that's what you it's females. Really, think. It's really not. See, that's what really these females not. think, man. There's these not. what these females. What you mean? It's not. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Some guys don't just be like on relationship from the jump, like. Like what you like what you say, they smooth talk, they smooth, okay. Because y'all they know they're not gonna just give it up. They have to yeah, like, exactly. work for it a little. Mm -hmm. And then after they do what they want, it's like, like they oh, their yeah. energy starts turning weird. Then it's like we just there and being mm -hmm. used for you know what. And I think if we should think talk about, about how some guys Go ahead. they talk like with their friends, how some girls are just they're cute enough to date. And then how some girls are only cute enough to do it with. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we about to change the topic of this video. <laughs> no, say, that, can that you say, say, say it louder? Say it louder? Or say, say <laughs> it again so I can, just say it again so I can repeat it. How guys talk about... How guys talk about... Mm -hmm. <laughs> some girls are cute enough to date, but mm -hmm. some girls are only cute enough to do it with. Yeah. Girls do that. The fuck? What do you no. mean? What do you mean? No. Guys, no. Oh, I'm, about to, no. I'm about to walk off this goddamn no. set. I'm friends no. with a lot of girls that I know for sure. Y'all do that. No. Y'all know some guys that y'all just not going to. Okay. Y'all don't okay. say. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You right. It's some guys that females be like, 
hey, I'm in a relationship with you. I want to use you for, you know. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, don't lie, bro, don't lie to me. Don't see y'all be with. Oh my god, that's crazy. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to the. Don't lie to the pod. It be guys out here. It be girls out here that be like, yeah, that guy's yeah. I can I could be in a relationship with that yeah. guy. And there's some girls that be like, tell guys. But she's nah, I just talking want, about. I can just hit. She's talking about looks though. Mm-hmm. You just talking about guys. Like she specifically said looks. Yeah. Heard it. Like, look like guys, just look based more on than their... guys do. Guys yeah. are like, yeah, I don't, I don't want a relationship yeah. with. I got one. Person, the girls yeah. are like, well, he's nice. He treats me right. Like girls yeah. look past the mm-hmm. the facial like, features, and guys are like, mm-hmm. <laughs> she ain't built right. Or oh, or if yeah. they say what I want. And really, nine times out of ten, the girl that you know that's just mm-hmm. doing stuff with the guy, like using him for yeah. those type of activities. Nine times out of ten, they want relationships with them, but they don't want that too. Like if that guy was to tell her, hey, let's get a relationship. Let's just stop doing this sneaky link stuff and get a relationship. The they girls going to agree with yeah. it because, like, I mean, why not? If we already doing it, I'm not doing it with nobody else. Why not be in a relationship? It's a lot of reasons right. why not to be in a freaking relationship. Well, it's recording and... Were you going to say something? Called? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you... And, I mean, that was another reason why I was saying, like, y'all put... Y'all blame the guys for this emotional attachment to this... To sexual I mean, relations when it's not the guy's fault. What if a guy isn't ready for a relationship? Like mentally, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because it takes you know, like see, a we, relationship takes a lot of effort. You, we say yeah, relationship yeah. like it's just easy. It's we gonna we gonna be in a relationship. That's easy. It's a hundred percent. That's it. Relationship. I mean, oh, most girls is an understanding with that. Like if you're not ready for relationship, then that's all, all you right. gotta say. That's all you gotta say. Like you don't have to do all this act weird. No, hell no. It ain't all we gotta say because y'all right. crazy. Right. <laughs> that, that, that's wrong. That ain't all we gotta say. Tell, like it's, it's certain mm-hmm. ways you gotta say certain things, but you, you can't oh, reword it. You can't just be like, nah. You can't beat around the bush saying you don't want to be. Yeah, like bro, like if a guy, if y'all, if you got something somebody wants to hear. Real talk, because if you got a stick sneaking and y'all doing. Business, right? Yeah. And yeah, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> the, the small gestures make the move and turn it out. The guy, if the girl asks a guy who they're doing a sneaky link with, if they want a relationship, the guy can't just be like, "No, I don't want, want a relationship." Because girls not gonna take it that way. Well, if you, well, we 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 can have sex, but you don't want a relationship with me. Why? Da, da, da. And that's this whole big thing when guys can't do that. Some girls aren't relationship material. Facts. That's facts. That's facts. It's not ridiculous. That's, That's facts. facts. But you missed the part where I said, if the if the guy comes to the girl that who she's sneaky linking with says he wants relationship, then nine times out of ten she's gonna be in for it. Yeah, and I, I, I want to thank you guys, Abby and Leah, for being on. Two very great special guests. Y'all debated, argued, and I love it. Um, especially with short notice. I didn't tell y'all about this until like a couple days ago, which. I appreciate y'all for making time for us. Uh, guys, if y'all have any, before I, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, get the algorithm up. You know, I love the people that like before the video even starts. Like it, hit that like, it's an easy, you don't even got double tap, it's just one button. Hit that one button before the video even starts. Um, and make sure you share also, tell your family and friends about the Really Him Podcast and check, check up on their mentals. Uh, another great episode of the Really Him Podcast. See y'all next week, love y'all.